version 9 of Vasco da Gama comes with many new camera profiles and I will invite you now to have a closer look at them. For this demonstration I have created a small project, a flight route from Frankfurt to New York. I have included two stopover points to make the route a little bit more interesting. As head object I have chosen an Airbus A380 and I have given it some height so that it isn't flying directly on the ground. So let's jump directly to the camera section and you can see that I have chosen as date the 1st of June 2015 at 10 o'clock in the evening because at this time we can see the day-night border very nicely here on the earth and you can see also that I have activated the city lights option in the maps dialog so that we can see here very nicely the city lights. At this moment we are at automatic camera mode and here in this menu we can choose between the different camera profiles and we start directly with the first one from top and this profile shows our head object directly from the top it's always centered in the screen I will activate the preview and play back the animation and you can see the head object is always maintained in the center of the window and the earth globe is spinning below it this looks quite nice but we have an additional new feature Although we are at automatic camera mode, now we have the zoom correction. That means we can zoom in and I will set the zoom level now to let's say 160% more or less. Now the preview images have been recreated. Let's play back the preview again and now with the new zoom correction this looks very different although it's the same animation. From top is the ca perfect camera profile when we would like to move a head object on a street map for example but as you can see you can use it in other situations as well and as you can see if you zoom in a little bit you can change completely the appearance of such an animation. Now let's have a look at the next profile, Side Glance. Until version 8 of Vasco da Gama there was only one profile named Side Glance. Now we have different versions. We have Side Glance 30 degrees, 45 and 70 degrees. Let's start with the Side Glance 30 degrees. The zoom correction I will leave at 160%. Now let's play back the animation and you can observe that the camera is moving slowly from the tail of the airplane to its nose. It's moving along the side of the head object and this looks very nice. Let's switch to side glance 45 degrees and again to the preview window and you can see that the position of the camera has lowered a little bit and we see now the airplane a little bit more from the side. You can see the name of the airline here on the side of the airplane. And this too looks very nice. And now let's switch to my favorite side glance profile, side glance 70 degrees. And you may observe now that the camera has lowered again. We are nearly at the same height of as the head object. So let's play back this animation and I think this looks very nice. And if you export this animation and play it back on a large scale TV television, let's say from 55 inches and above, this looks spectacular. The next two profiles are side glance profiles as well but as you can see in the name 180 degrees and they exist in two turning directions left and right. Let's start with the first one. 
you can see in the first image that the camera position is more or less the same as in the side glance 70 degrees but when we play back the animation you can see the new behavior the camera moves a little bit faster because it turns all the way around our head object and shows it from every side and this looks very nice too and let's have a quick jump to the other side 180 degrees side glance profile turning in the other direction and this time the animation looks like this and I think that are great images that we can see here and without many effort because only a few mouse clicks and you can see such wonderful animations the next three profiles are a little bit more complex because they need a route with at least four points that's the reason I will jump back to the root section why I have included two additional stopover points instead of flying directly from Frankfurt to New York so this is the reason and back to the camera section let's try here the first one of the these complex profiles zoom in and out and now you can see that we are completely zoomed out because in this profiles the zoom correction isn't active it doesn't work here let's go to the preview window and play back the animation and as you can see in the first frame in the first picture our head object is very small here the complete pl planet is visible and now let's start the animation and we zoom in pass along the head object from the side and then we zoom out again so the zoom function is integrated in the camera profile and it is controlled by the root points because here is our starting point and from the starting point to the next stopover point the zoom in takes place and from the next to last to the last point the zoom out takes place so we can take some influence on the speed of the zooming in and zooming out placing stopover points near the starting or the ending point so let's see the animation again I'll play it back we start in Frankfurt and now we have reached the first stopover point and now from the next to last one from the third point now we zoom out until we reach the last point of the route now we will take the next step and we have zoom in out with 360 degrees side glance this is the next step forward in dynamic because now we do what we have seen in the zoom in out but the camera additionally will fly 360 degrees around the head object and this looks very nice and you with this profile you can create really stunning animations and as I said before with only a few mouse clicks very nice so and now we are ready for a really cool effect for the last profile imbalance again this is a highly dynamic camera profile which needs at least four root points to mark the time points when the camera changes its behavior so let's have a look at the preview and this looks very great and I will say it again you have to see this animations on a large screen TV 55 60 or more inches great and it will look spectacular and of course these camera profiles are the perfect starting point for switching to manual camera mode so 
we have the basic animation already set and then in manual camera mode we can adjust even further to create very stunning animations. So please play with the profiles and then start switching to manual camera mode and start playing with all the parameters that Vasco da Gama offers us. This is the really cool feature of Vasco da Gama 9.